Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Today we're going to do a wrench comparison with the CZ P10S versus the Stoger STR9C. Both of these align fairly well as far as size and weight is concerned. 30 ounces loaded with 13 rounds in each of them. The Stoger on the right has a 3.8 inch barrel. The CZ on the left has a 3.5 inch barrel. What we have here is a higher-end CZ P10S versus a budget-priced Stoger STR9C. So let's start with the P10S. I've had this for a while, ever since its launch. I've loved it. This one is optic-ready with a tritium front dot. The MSRP is $629, but that one is not optic-ready. They keep discontinuing it, and they discontinue certain models. It's very difficult to see where CZ stands. It's very difficult to figure out why they discontinue some of the models they do. 97B, I mean, that 45 ACP is amongst the best. Nonetheless, forward serrations, a flat face trigger that measures right at five pounds, a very short reset, easy disassemble, nice ergonomic feel. 12 round mags, over $600, right around $630, $640, $650, and there'll get you the P10S. I have an extension on there with the base plate. 14 rounds of this model gives three finger contact, and a lot of people love CZs. I love CZs, and I think this is one fine handgun. Let me take a few shots here. All right, I've always thought this was a cool gun, but you pay for it. You're over 600 bucks in most cases because the prices have skyrocketed. I remember the, the uh, original P10C had an MSRP of 499 and it was selling even in the upper 300s, but then the stupidity hit this country as far as prices go and everything skyrocketed. But what has not skyrocketed is the Stoger STR9C, MSRP 329. They did not change the price from its initial launch. 3.8 inch barrel, unique slide serrations there. Full pick rail, nice ergonomic feel. Stoger offers their handguns in packages. that may include night sights additional mags which people say is hard to find just go to their site you can get it right from their site you pay a little more but we're paying a little more for everything back straps mags sights everything i went cheap i went with one mag one back strap three dot sights they are metal by the way 329 what i like about this is the overall shooting i feel i've done well since i've had it and it does have about a six pound trigger pull right there with the reset and it is budget price so when you talk about budget price handguns you can do really well with the stoger str9 series it's a whole series now started out with the compact size with a 4.2 inch barrel and they made a whole series they came out with this secondly and a lot of people took notice let me take a few shots and see if i can hit this target here All right, so this is a budget price, all right? Yes, it's made in Turkey. It does have a loaded chamber bar that, that pops up there. And then we've got these two right here, a higher end, a lower priced. I'm not gonna say lower end, I'm gonna say lower priced. Both nice ergonomic feel, both shoot really well. Which one would you choose? Well, it's clear that those who are on a budget would go with the, the Stoger model, STR9C, C for compact. Those who are CZ fans, which there are a lot, would go for the P10S. I personally, I'm sticking with the P10S. It's clear I did not put an optic on there. I don't feel like I need to. I like that night sight in the case. If you did all the upgrades that Stoger offers, went with the night sights, the back straps, and the extra mags, you would be into the 400s, perhaps the mid 400s, a couple hundred dollars more, yeah, buy once, cry once, but you're getting a CZ 
P10S. I think it's a fine handgun. I like this. I've had it forever, but I'm going with the P10S. My question is, which one would you take? If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.